Amazing tales have surfaced today with the launch of two books about one of Australia's greatest warships. A Perth veteran recalling how he survived being sunk twice. His young shipmates called him blood. Now at 89, Arthur Bancroft's red hair's long gone. But the friendships carried through battle and survival still flow strong. <laughs> well, uh, it's, a, it's my way of living. Uh, it's individual people's war. Blood and Griff jumped for their lives as HMAS Perth went down off Java in 1942, eventually taken prisoner by the Japanese. For two years they endured the infamous Death Railway. Griff kept spirits up with a singing group. Blood kept a diary down his G-string. I was a uh, determined young fellow, so I never gave up. The blokes that contemplated not getting out died. The courageous tales of hundreds of fellow Perth crewmen highlighted in a new book by journalist Mike Carlton and Blood's own account, Arthur's War. To meet some of them, uh, talk to the survivors, listen to their tales, was, uh, was a truly humbling experience. Today's launch heart-wrenching for Betty Gray, whose husband served aboard the ship. Gave him a, an understanding of, of life how precious life was. In 1944, blood was shipped out for slave labour in Japan, but a US submarine sank the POW transport. After six days in the open sea, he and his five mates were almost dead when another American sub surfaced miraculously nearby. I always had any chance of a lift, you know. <laughs> the captain was up there and I was Permission to come on board, sir. <laughs> it's a permission granted. And the rest is history. Nick Way, 10 News.